Hello and welcome to a new funny interesting tutorial here on VFX Hive and today I want to show you how you can create this kind of impact effect here with the new material fracture node and with the RBD solver in Houdini 18. So the setup is pretty much shown here. I started everything with a box where I made some some adjustments in the size and I applied the RBD material fracture to the to the box in the first input which is the geometry input so the RBD material fracture node has been um, highly reworked in Houdini 18 and it's coming with a lot of great new features and what we can do is for example adding different fracture levels i have a level of four here and you can specify your scatter points and you can pretty much make this fracturing now much more interesting um, I also enabled the chipping. The chipping is a way where the corners of the pieces create chips inside of, of the broken geometry, which you can pretty much see in the simulation later on. And I also enabled the, the edge detail, which makes our edges much more interesting from the look of the breaking and fracturing what's also very cool is the interior deta detail where you can add noise to the interior points based on their distance to the to the surface so when you add interior detail your fracture pieces become more and more detailed on the inside surface and not flat or uh, in uh, or not interesting so for the constraint we can here use the glue constraint which holds this this heavy block of concrete together and we can adjust the strength here uh, how thick and how powerful everything is uh, holded together and you should play with the default values which are very high at the beginning so I lowered them to 50 in the primary strength and the chipping glue strength also to 50 to make an interesting impact on this concrete block here so um, what else can we say i used the material type of concrete we can also use glass wood or custom with custom you are able to shatter and fracture your geometry in a custom way like with boolean geometry to cut um, everything accordingly to your shot needs to your production needs and after that adjustment I added a RBD bullet solver here which goes to the first three inputs from the RBD material fracture and in the solver settings you can see that we have a time scale of one that we want to use collisions and that we also want to use this ground plane which you can see here which give us, gives us um, nice collisions of the elements when they start to be active in the simulation so um, this is pretty much 
the setup for the RBD bullet solver. I attached the spaceship, which is an OBJ, into the collision geometry input here and made some animation adjustments to the spaceship which is crashing into the wall from space and time. So I positioned the spaceship and added some keys at the beginning and end points to make this simulation and animation of the spaceship hitting the wall. We also can play here with the forces. We have a uh, gravity force automatically added to the scene. And it's a very great new way of doing the destruction improved with Houdini 18. And I want to show you some little play blast now with the adjusted settings. Um, So I set this to 25 and the chipping glue strength also to 25 and hit, this, hit the simulation and come back after the solving. So excuse me, so what I forgot to mention is that in the collision tab we want to use the collision and we want to use for the initial object type here the create deforming static object. We want something that is actually deforming over time. So you can use static object, create animated static object and we want to use create deforming static object. Which means that this is suitable for animation and simulation. So as you can see the spaceship is crashing right into the wall and we have some larger chunks, some smaller chunks and we have also this interesting interior detail you can see here. So you definitely should play around with the physical values and the density values of the simulation to get different results. And I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip in Houdini 18. More to come in the future. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching and have a great time. See you soon. Bye bye.